bienvenue guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be doing some fall off the bone oxtail and for this recipe i'm using three pounds of oxtail and we're going to go right into the seasoning and first we're going in with our green seasoning followed by a combination of my salt black pepper onion powder garlic powder and paprika I'm just gonna mix it all together and add it to the oxtail. I'm also gonna go in with a few sprigs of fresh thyme, followed by my ginger, my ground allspice, Followed by my gravy browning. And now we're just going to mix everything together. Now I'm going to cover this up with plastic wrap and place it in my fridge and allow it to soak in all those seasonings overnight. I find I get the best flavor when I do it like this. So we are going to burn some sugar to make our browning and I already put in my oil, vegetable oil in my pan and now I'm going to go in with my brown sugar. You can use brown sugar, you can use white sugar, it's up to you. So now the sugar has melted, but do not add your meat in as yet. Your meat will be sweet. So I'm just moving it around. You can see on, on the edges, it's starting to get that darker brown color. So the darker brown color is coming in. I'm going to continue moving it around. Now I advise you to use a wooden spatula. Do not use the metal one. You will damage your pot. And it is getting to that perfect dark brown color that we're looking for. And now we're going to go in with our beautiful oxtail. I do not flip over my meat when I put them into my browning. I allow them to get that color for about three minutes before I flip them over. I'm gonna start flipping over. Oh my gosh, this is that beautiful caramelized color I was talking about. Now I am going to continuously turn them and flip them around so every side gets that color. So now that all sides have gotten that color, I'm going in with some hot water that I added to that bowl it marinated in. Always be sure to have some hot water on hand when cooking meat. You do not want to add cold water. It's going to change the temperature and it's going to take the meat a longer time to get that internal temperature back up. So that's why I'm using the hot water. And I'm going to be going in with two bay leaves that I crushed and also a cinnamon stick. Next, I'm going to be going in with two large garlic cloves that I crushed. And I'm adding some more seasoning. I have onion. I have green onions or scallions and I have pimento peppers or what we call seasoning peppers. Next I'm going in with some more fresh thyme. Now if you don't have fresh thyme you can add the dried thyme as well.
then i'm going in with some fresh ginger and for that hot pepper flavor i'm going in with one scotch bonnet pepper and this is just solely for flavor and not for heat for those of you who like heat you can cut into it now my heat is on medium to high i'm gonna have it boil like this for 15 minutes so now my heat is down to medium i'm gonna have this boil for two hours and i'm going to be adding water when necessary and this is two hours later and at this time i'm gonna go in with my carrot i like to put my carrot in towards the ending of the cooking that way it doesn't melt into the gravy and all that so I like my carrots to remain in whole, so I put them in towards the end. And also at this point, you can taste to see if you need to add more seasoning. And I went in with a Maggi cube. And I'm also going to be adding my butter beans. So I'm going to have this cook for another 10 minutes and then it will all be done. So my oxtail is done my kitchen is smelling wonderful and i paired this with some rice some beans some plantain and some veg thanks again for watching have a good one